This section will show how to start up the Nikon NPL 352 and use it as a theodolite and presents the various screens on the Nikon NPL 352. After setting up and leveling the instrument, turn on the instrument using the red key in the upper right corner. The first screen that comes up lists what the Nikon NPL 352 reads as the current temperature and pressure. If these values are not correct, they should be changed prior to tilting the telescope. To do this, press the Enter key and set the temperature. Press Enter again to set the pressure. Press the Enter key to input it. Now, tilt the telescope up and down slightly. If the temperature and pressure are correct as initially displayed, you can skip these steps and just tilt the telescope to begin. Tilting the telescope will bring up the basic measurement screens unless the instrument is not leveled within the tolerance range of the level compensators. In the event that the instrument gets bumped, moved, or otherwise compromised, the out-of-level screen will display. This screen can also be accessed by pressing the zero key on the numeric pad. Fine leveling is done using the three leveling screws under the leveling plate. Again, return to the BMS screen by using the escape key and tilt the telescope to establish the zero zenith vertical angle. Remember that the angles will likely have changed as a result of being out of level. There are four BMS screens which are viewed in order by pressing the display key repeatedly. If the instrument is only going to be used as a theodolite, only the first screen is needed. Located on the upper right-hand corner of the screen is a screen indicator showing one of four screens. That is the first screen. The other three displays are shown as follows by pressing the display key. Two of four three of four, and four of four. The horizontal and vertical angle values in the screen will change as the instrument is sighted on a monitor point, and these values must be written down in a logbook or on a monitoring form. They cannot be recorded until a job has been created in the instrument. Monitoring points while in the theodolite mode is done by sighting on a point to be monitored and recording manually the horizontal angle and the vertical angle. Several points can be monitored this way as long as the instrument is not moved. It is convenient to establish a reference point to set as the position of zero horizontal angle. This is commonly referred to as the back sight, although the back sight is often located forward of the instrument. The horizontal angle is set to zero through the angle menu, which is accessed by pressing the ANG key. Scroll to the zero set option and press the record enter key or press the one key. This will set the current orientation of the telescope as the zero horizontal angle. Points to be monitored are sighted and their horizontal angle and vertical angle recorded on monitoring forms or field books. Once the horizontal and vertical angle are known, the points can be monitored by turning the telescope back to the last recorded location, using the tangent screws of the instrument until the output screen of the instrument has the desired readings. After returning the instrument to the prior recorded horizontal and vertical angle settings, the object is sighted through the telescope and movement can be immediately ascertained by seeing if the crosshairs of the telescope are still centered on the point being monitored. It should be noted that the accuracy of a five-second survey instrument is approximately one-eighth of an inch for a point 400 feet in distance. Although the Nikon NPL 352 is rated as a five-second machine, its performance is always better than this. The level of accuracy should be more than sufficient for the purposes of monitoring points in the urban search and rescue environment. An important note, if using the Nikon NPL 352 strictly as a theodolite and due to rescue operations it becomes necessary to pick up and move the instrument, 
the STS has two options to continue monitoring the same points. If returning to the original setup point, the instrument must be set in the exact location as before, or the horizontal angle and the vertical angle measurements will be different. As setting up in the exact location is highly unlikely, it is best to take new horizontal and vertical angle measurements and record them in your logbook or monitor form while noting that the instrument was relocated.